Here's in three days, Sunday on ABC. survivors like the ones that are surrounding me right now that is according to the american cancer society there are 14 and a half million cancer survivors in the u.s today and by 2024 you know what that number is going to be it's going to be a rapidly growing number and this is a community that needs help moving beyond uh, the illness and treatment i recently had the pleasure of visiting a unique center dedicated to helping survivors become more than that thrivers People need is a roadmap. They need a life path to follow. Jeff Keith, the founder for the Center for Survivorship in Southport, Connecticut, is helping to pave that path for cancer survivors. You have chemotherapy or radiation. There's no post care. Survivors will tell you that they feel like they're dropped off a cliff when they're done with treatment. A survivor himself, Jeff lost his leg to cancer when he was just 12 years old. My parents got me skiing six weeks later, and that was unheard of back then. Six weeks later after you lost your leg. Yeah, in 1974, and it set the tone for the rest of my life. For Jeff and the estimated 14 and a half million cancer survivors in the U.S., learning to live and thrive with a new normal is the key to moving forward. Oh, did I miscount? <laughs> yeah. I miscounted. 12-year-old Ryan Tucker's top priority is to ride his bike again. Is this a, a result from treatment? He had surgery in the brainstem and the cerebellum, so that throws off his balance. So that's one of the big things that we're working on is, is the balance. One of his goals is to ride a bike. The center focuses on healing the mind, body, and spirit. Hello, everyone. Hello. We look at the whole person so I don't let them get away with high blood pressure or cholesterol or anything else. What do you all get out of a class like this? What is it that you're looking for and what is it that you get out of it? I think when I go to the store now and I pick things up and I purchase them, I flip it with the label and look at the salt content, the sodium, look at the added sugars. I'm much more conscious. It's not just the exercise and nutrition classes, but also the sense of community that has helped members like Cecile Galvin, a breast cancer survivor, recover. When you're done with the treatment, you have this anxiety of, is it going to come back or not? So the cancer center has been great for that because it, we all have the same unspoken goal. We can talk about it if we want to, but we don't have to. Invaluable life lessons. You know what's great about this place? There are many wonderful aspects of it. It's not in a hospital. 90% of all survivors that I've talked to over the last three years, they don't want to go back to the hospital. But make no mistake, you come in here and you're a survivor, we don't baby you. We treat you like a normal person. And what we want to do is raise your bar. 19-year-old Aaron Gaberman, who battled cancer as a child, says that's just what he needs. You have said all along you want to be known as a fighter. Yeah. And does this place allow you, give you a place to, to live that out? Exactly. I did fight and I did overcome cancer and I did overcome this terminal this disease and now I can work up to build my body back from what it, it destroyed. It. So that's great. What's your ultimate goal? Really, at the end of the day, we're selling hope. Selling hope. It's priceless. It sure is, and studies have shown that exercise does have a positive effect on recovery, and in some cases might even help prevent recurrence. Next month, there will be a fundraiser to benefit the Center for Survivorship. The 10th Annual CT Challenge, Connecticut Challenge Bike Ride, will be held July 25th and 26th. It's helped over 54,000 cancer survivors that were impacted last year alone. So, my thanks again for welcoming me out there.